Hello everyone, welcome to Via Satoshi. I'm your host Satoshi and uh, today we are going to talk about dollar cost averaging. So before we get into the video, the markets are doing great today. Today is the 2nd of November 2021 and uh, Bitcoin just passed 63,000 US dollars and uh, Ethereum just passed its all-time high. So I thought that this would be a great idea to create a video about how to invest in crypto because now there's a thing called FOMOing. People will be thinking, oh, everything is going up, let's get in. And uh, I think in a way that's a really bad idea. So before we get into the video, please subscribe to my channel and like my videos and leave your comments below. And um, also it will be very helpful if you also switch on the notification bell because the videos are very time sensitive. So what is dollar cost averaging? Dollar cost averaging is one of those things where, you know, people who don't have time to trade, uh, you know, put limit orders and, um, you know, back orders and trading and flipping and all that kind of thing or leverages. Yeah, I'm just like putting, throwing technical terms that people don't even understand because, you know, the whole point of this channel to educate the newcomers uh, who are new to the cryptocurrency markets, I guess. So dollar cost averaging is that you try to buy a certain amount of something every month, regardless of price, on a certain time um, or a day. So if I break it down in a very simple term, um, someone called X has $100 to invest on Bitcoin and uh, he decides to or she decides to invest that $25 every week um, regardless of Bitcoin today is $63,000 and um, in next week it could be $58,000 or $65,000 but you carry on investing the more price you know the Bitcoin is the less Bitcoin you will buy for the same amount of money at the same time when price goes down you will buy more Bitcoin so this is an example that's why I'm using Bitcoin it applies for everything else as well is because you know the currency famous currency is US dollars so you people use uh, dollar cost average you can pound cost average you can euro cost average whatever it is I think you get the point so what is the benefits of doing a dollar cost average so um, now there's a lot of exchanges and a lot of uh, apps uh, such as uh, crypto.com uh, Coinbase, Binance, and you know, the other exchanges, uh, they have a, an option called um, recurring buy. So you can actually set recurring buys, uh, bi weekly, so every uh, two weeks, or once a month, or once a week. So, for example, if I'm going to take from uh, the last four years, the 2017, uh, the Bitcoin market hit uh, $20,000 peak and then it came down afterwards. We all know that that's called the bear market. So uh, if someone started buying on the peak um, $100 worth of uh, crypto every month, uh, say, for example, Bitcoin, uh, they would have bought at $20,000. And then between 2017 December and 2020 March, Bitcoin kind of uh, stayed around eight to ten thousand dollars, or I think around twelve thousand dollars, on average around ten thousand dollars. And even in March, uh, when the the pandemic started happening, there's a massive crash happened, and Bitcoin went down to three thousand dollars. So that person would have bought even more. So that was an analytics. Um, someone did some research, and they found out that um, if you did dollar cost average into Bitcoin um, from 2017 peak of the market you would have still did like a 200 percent profit by 2020 August um, so this was like not even everything started going up because since 2020 after the halving of Bitcoin Bitcoin now have just done um, 3x from its you know, all-time high previously, that was $20,000. Now it's around $63,000. You get the point. So is it a great idea? Is it always a success? 
No, because investing is not all about a hundred percent prediction. Because if if uh, I know, I would be just like uh, literally selling everything and putting into Bitcoin, right? Or whatever investment I think is going to go hundred percent. No one knows that. It's um, it's a prediction, and also, it's a calculated risk. So being risky is okay. Being reckless is a bit stupid. So what is the best way of doing dollar cost averaging? Just, you know, on top of all this, do your own research. Don't invest onto something that you don't know about. If you don't know about Bitcoin, don't buy it yet. Do some research and think if that suits you and find an allocation out of your monthly income or your portfolio and uh, what do you think you can afford to lose and then invest that part. That's the way, the risk-free way of uh, making money through investments and also diversifying your portfolio is the greatest idea. Uh, but, you know, don't over leverage because it's a very bad idea doing over leverage because the cryptocurrency markets are very, very volatile. I'm the first person to say that. Mm -hmm. So never ever invest on something that you're not sure about. Doesn't matter if cryptocurrencies or traditional equity markets or whatever. Um, so um, how this is all you know, works out in terms of uh, long-term investment. So when you keep doing the dollar cost averaging, you will have, uh, your portfolio will grow slowly. You know, your positions will grow. What will happen is when the price goes down, your average price of buying will also go down. That means the overall price when it goes up, you will make more profits. And that way you can exit the market by small portions. And if you believe like Bitcoin is a long-term hedge against inflation, then you can keep it forever. So then you can exit the market, take the initial investment out, and also the, the rest of the, the investment you have is actually going to wherever it's supposed to. You know, they say moon, Mars, and all kind of things, but yeah, I'm not in there. So that's it for this video. You know, just be careful investing. This is not financial advice. This is my own opinion and I do what I say. Uh, so I did do dollar cost averaging. It works great for me and it's less hassle and all these things. And if you need more questions about dollar cost averaging, please leave your comments below so I can answer those questions. And uh, until next time, I will make a more interesting video probably um, about other ways of investing. Please subscribe to my channel again and also like my videos. And good luck investing. Don't fall for scams. Bye-bye.